Normal Windows is really bad. It uses almost 4 gigs of RAM and has well over 150 processors. After 10 minutes of debloating my Windows, I actually brought it down all the way to 3 gigs of memory and 79 processors. But what's even more amazing is, Atlas OS managed to bring it down even lower to only 2.6 gigs of RAM and only 62 processors with 5 clicks. I'm about to show you how you can install the most popular custom OS, which is Atlas OS, on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. So what you want to do in the first place is go into your browser guys and just simply search up Atlas OS. The first link on the top should be the official atlasos.net site and from there on we gotta get two specific files. First of all the Atlas playbook and then as well the AME wizard. Both of these files you just simply put onto your desktop and I would highly recommend you to just put them into a separate folder. Make sure that you unpack everything in there other than that you might not be able to launch the wizard. Quick disclaimer guys you can apply this to any sort of Windows 10 or Windows 11 version but I would not recommend you to actually put it onto a broken Windows. So therefore maybe use a restore point or a fresh version but now let's continue. And these are now all the files which are in there. The Atlas OS playbook, the disable automatic driver installation registry key and AME wizard beta. The registry key is only optional, for me I always do it just to prevent unnecessary updates on my PC. And once we're done with that, we're going to click onto AME wizard beta. Just simply double click onto it and wait for it to launch. Now all you gotta do is actually paste in there the Atlas playbook. You can see there's a predefined area where you have to drag it in and it says Atlas OS playbook for Windows 10 and 11 so therefore it works for both. In this next step, we have to disable all the security options but don't be worried this is only for the installation so that the Atlas OS playbook has full on access on your PC. So therefore just simply click onto the options and make sure to disable real time protection and all of the other ones guys. As mentioned this is only for the installation. Later on everything is gonna run again super smoothly like before. And once you're done with that it's gonna show you Windows security is disabled and you can close the window and continue with the installation and click on the next. Now it's going to analyze your installation and check if you maybe need one of the latest Windows updates because this is going to do it for you as well automatically. It's going to check are you up to date and good to go. If it says requires a new one just simply click on the run action and install all the updates and continue again after restarting with the installation with that. After updating my windows I'm again here in the same window analyzing installation and it should tell you then that everything is good to go and you set up. You can see now requirements met therefore we get the green check and click on the next. Then we have the terms guys that we're going to click on the next again and accept all the license agreements. And what's really important is guys with the latest few versions of Atlas OS you can enable the Windows Defender because many people were saying why is the Windows Defender disabled which is basically like the core antivirus and I would highly recommend you as well to keep this one enabled guys. You definitely want to use this so therefore use the recommended settings and click on the next. Now default Windows mitigations also just simply leave enabled guys. This is also the recommended step especially on newer or modern CPUs this can cause issues so therefore turn it on and as well disable core isolation I would actually recommend you because this one actually is super hardware demanding so therefore you want to disable this one. Click on the next again here and then it's going to ask you disable printing, Bluetooth and power saving, all of these here which I actually want disabled, I don't really care about it so therefore click on the next. Then as well disable hibernation, disable automatic updates and remove snipping tool which I actually unchecked because I use it and then something like disable notifications and all that and then you can actually configure your browser as well. For me I'm gonna keep my Google Chrome but you can also get another one and then we get the green check again that all the configurations are completed and we can click actually on the next. Now it's going to start with extracting all the playbook files onto our PC and everything is gonna get basically updated and tweaked and after a bunch of minutes your Atlas OS should be fully installed on your PC so therefore just let it run real quick. And after you're done with it it should look exactly like this here. You have this very nice Atlas screen as well the Atlas folder with all the core options which are in there if you maybe want to re-enable some services and now let's actually check the task manager guys. And the process has already got down to only 62 and our Windows is only using 2.6 gigs of RAM. Previously it was almost 4 gigs so therefore that's a huge difference which is really insane especially for low end devices so therefore I can highly recommend your Atlas OS especially if you're maybe on a 4 to 8 gigs of RAM laptop or something like that or a really low end PC. This is a great way to overall speed up your system get way less processes which is going to reduce overall system latency and as mentioned you have a lot of more RAM available now for games or whatever you do. What's really nice is guys that all of these security features are also enabled in here so therefore you don't have to be worried about anything and you can see there's a lot less bloatware on your windows overall once we check actually here our taskbar there's nothing in there no ads no telemetry and all of that and to improve your gaming experience even further I would recommend you to check out GR Booster for absolutely free. It's the number one gaming VPN out in the market supporting all 
of your favorite games. Once you found the one which you want to improve your ping in, just simply select the game where you want to improve your ping and it's going to help you to find the best DNS server in your near. And you can see right now here I reduced my ping already by 5 milliseconds. They also provide you with all the routing details on your PC and the server and all of the delay. And you can do this for all of your favorite games. Make sure you click on the link in the video description for a free trial version. And if this video was helpful, I would highly recommend you to check out these two videos which are right now on screen to optimize your Windows PC even further for performance.